Welcome to What the Flick, everybody. Homeland. <laughs> so funny. Season five, episode one, separation anxiety. And uh, two years have passed, right? I guess, yeah. yeah given well, the kids' age. Given the kids' age. And, and, right. and, well, we know because Quinn has spent two years. Oh, right, of course. Yes. Quinn is 28 in, in, months. In Syria, Quinn right. Uh, I, I, I took notes on my phone. I'm not looking at my phone, just so folks know. Um, so yeah, so so uh, Carrie has uh, left the agency uh, under not the greatest circumstances, since she and Saul apparently are uh, on the outs, um, and she is working for the During Foundation. The During Foundation. During, yeah. yeah. During the last two years <laughs> in Berlin, and. Um, so we, we open with a uh, webcam sex farm guy who manages to like post a snarky video on an Al-Qaeda or ISIS or whatever recruitment site, and in so doing manages to stumble their way into the CIA mainframe. But a couple, let's talk about that before, and you're going to finish describing <coughs> it. But in general, we, we need to include that, so that's good. So, but when that guy, the hacker, uh -huh. And uh, you know they just turn a recruitment ISIS recruitment video into a sex tape. The uh, and but when he's working his way through the Berlin subways, but but it, the way people look at him <laughs> is really good because a couple people he's standing there he's got a beard he looks vaguely Middle Eastern right right, and a couple people look at him like oh what's this guy doing right and we think. Right away, partly we think it because it's homeland. It's homeland, exactly. Right. But still, the way that people react to him is good, and it's just I thought a very subtle little sure. beginning of the mistrust that people have for men of uh, young men of Arab descent. Yeah. And then it turns out he was going to work. He was a guy who woke up going right. to work to and mock to mock terrorists. Exactly, yeah. is, is actively like yeah. working against those folks. I have to say the the scene though where he does get into the CIA computers and they're having to like abort. I thought. I felt like I was watching Weird Science. You remember Weird Science when they hacked yeah. into the Pentagon? I was yeah. like, what? The computer stuff on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what's happening here, but okay, fine. We'll right. take it as real. I, I think we just have to, like, I'm sure that all would have taken longer. And isn't, but I don't know. If you're a great <laughs> hacker, then I've done it. Sure. Yes, um, we'll, we'll accept it. And, and, and their explanation, <laughs> we assume that, that a real explanation was given by the ambassador to, or the head of security, I don't know if that was the ambassador, given to... I guess it was the ambassador, given or the station chief, the CIA yes. station chief, given to Saul was that yeah, it was just over clumsiness. Yeah. Um, Oops. Uh, I liked their reaction to it because they did. They again, they they didn't think it could possibly happen. They're like, oh, let's see what he's doing. Let's ping him. Well, maybe he'll ping us. <gasps> oh shit! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they download 1,361 files, files, uh, including the fact that the United States. Is spying for Berlin, spying for Germany to, on Germans to get around German law, preventing right. that. A um, lot of really contemporary, up-to-date stuff. Yeah, yeah, the serious stuff, stuff felt is, like yeah, like very they, of the what, moments. They shoot this ten days ago. <laughs> um, so uh, you know, and the talking about going from uh, from Al Qaeda to uh, ISIS, uh, and, ISIL. To, and the Al Nusra, I think I'm pronouncing Al Nusra, which mm. was the Al Qaeda affiliate in Syria. Oh right, right to to the Islamic State, it was just, it, it, it was good. I don't, uh, um, and then we learn what Quinn is up to, that he's yeah. just sort of part of an assassination squad. And I, I thought his, his that that one speech he has was so great, that was either like, we either send in 200,000 troops with as many doctors and elementary school yeah. teachers, or we fucking crush them, right. or pick one. Yeah, or <laughs> flatten El Rocco, yeah, your choice. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a good scene, and 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 the challenge to him was good, and I liked that Saul was like everybody in this room is used to hearing the same thing. I'm gonna let him. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna let him go. And he goes, well, depending, or, or is it working? And he goes, well, what's the strategy? Because I asked you if it's working. He goes, well, I need to know what the strategy is. I'll tell you if it's working. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, what now? What brings him to Berlin? Did I miss that somewhere? I guess what brings him to Berlin, right? But, is that well? We know that 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 there are. We're led to believe that there are terrorist cells in Europe and Berlin, sure. a hotbed. Recruiting. And yeah. So he's just in Berlin there to well, one probably to meet with Saul because Saul is going to tell him mm. that the gig is, is the gig is, is up. Yeah. So, uh, but we're going to continue to do this, or you can continue to do this if you want. Right. But we're not going to. We're going to deny all responsibility. We'll disavow any knowledge we'll disavow of your any actions. <laughs> Um, and we do have Quinn committing a, a, you know, committing a murder, you know? I mean, he blows that guy up. Yeah. I mean, that he clearly, 
he was correct. That guy is a terrorist. Sure, but, yeah, but, no, he had all the fixings for pipe bombs, and I kept thinking, but like, we don't, but there's no arresting him or bringing him no, to trial. No, there's no, just no, blowing no. him up. And I kept thinking, like, oh, you know, it's going to be he's going to scare him and make him say something. Nope, nope, he's really just blowing him up. Just blowing that's, up. That's just it. hoping to send a message that uh, we're coming for you. Yeah. And so then, meanwhile, Carrie goes and meets with. Uh, now, is that Miranda Otto? I don't know. Who's the new the the the, the new the, the new station the, chief? The, the, station the chief job that I think Carrie w- could have had. I Probably, think, at yeah, one yeah. Point. yeah. And was... I think I think I got the impression this woman had sort of been her protege. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. At least had worked alongside her, obviously in, in Baghdad. Uh, but clearly, there's that thing of like, what are what are you gonna what are you gonna trade? I'm gonna give you this information. Yeah, but if you, you, you want to know about Hezbollah? What are you gonna tell me about this foundation? Right, but right. if you'll spy on your own foundation, right, we, we can talk. Then then we can give you some information. Uh, so Kerry won't do that. I loved Kerry's reaction to the reporter, whose side I'm probably on. Sure. But I'm also kind of on Kerry's side, because at least in Kerry you see someone legit. You know that their concern is not just about protecting turf. It's legitimately about protecting people. And sure. With a very conscious effort not to hurt people who, who uh, innocence. But... She's right. I mean, we, you know, the, that that reporter's point of a hey, one CIA, always CIA. You're just buying their line, of, their, well, their line yeah. of BS. But I loved how Carrie was immune from getting her feelings hurt in that conversation. Mm. Like the woman yells at her for not giving up the information that she wants from Carrie, and Carrie's like, "Well, a lot of pe- you can't publish it. A lot of people might get hurt. At least you got to wait, right?" Yeah. And the woman's like, "Oh, you're just the same." Walks off, and Carrie's like. Whatever. Like, I've been dealing with those people forever. Sure, but I mean, but they do both have a point. I mean, like, totally. as, yeah, they, as they stupid and as overused as the line is, like, the people do have a right to know. Like, I, this is, I, I think, I think of interest, but you're right. How you release it and, and where it's coming from and all that stuff does matter. And, and, and you know, are you screwing with people within the field? Are you, you know, pulling a Dick Cheney, you know, when he, when, when he outed... Uh, uh, Valerie Plame. Valerie Plame, yeah. So, you know, there's a lot of different things to kind of take into account That's here. a crime, by the way. And, uh, yes. <laughs> for which somebody should have been in prison, but whatever. Uh, um, Scooter Libby got pardoned. Scooter Libby was pardoned by George Which w. is some bullshit. Um, I, I wrote down the, 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 the line, what are you atoning for? And then I answered it with season three. <laughs> <laughs> season three or season, season two? Season three. Season three is when, like, really Brody's still alive. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. And since, so season four was the season Se- four was the rally. Yes. Season four was the, I don't know if there's a verb yet for unjumping the shark. <laughs> right, that's but right. This, that's right. this show really got back on track. And, that, and I think... Hard to do. Hard yeah, to do. Yeah, very, do. very. And I think we're going to some interesting places in this season. Um, I, it, I spent a lot of time reading about, to get back to that, to reading about season four, um, because I thought maybe we're supposed to know the source of the tension between Saul and Carrie, but we're not. Yeah, well, it, ha- it has to do with her departure, which happened. But it happened while we were yeah. away. Right. So we don't know what it exactly was, but he thinks she sabotaged his chance to be the chief, but he says that doesn't matter anyway because we could have made up for that, but you're yeah. you're working for the wrong side now. Right, yeah, clearly it's, clearly so, this, this foundation has a history of not being friendly. To and this, this so it strikes me that this guy is a... a, 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 a What's the word I'm looking for? One thing, amalgamation? Is it uh, not uh, quite? No, uh, uh, bringing. He's a, a mixing of many things. He's an, an, an amalgam. Yeah, yes. Of of sort of like because there's partly there's some Julian Assange there. Sure. Because they're they were they received this information and now they are going to release it. She right. that jur- she's not really a journalist. She works for the foundation. Yeah, right? exactly. It wasn't like there's a publication that's going to. It's like she's putting it on their website. Um, and, uh, so it's sort of a think tank, but it's also it's a, sort it's of a, it's, a, it's a think tank that that I'm sure they think is funneling money to terrorists, but it's also a, a, a humanitarian a organization. And there's a WikiLeaks component to it, sure. Yeah. Also, uh, interesting. And it Kerry is in a functional, loving relationship. Yes, with, with another ginger. <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a type. She and, has a type. And uh, the uh, uh, and he's the lawyer for the foundation. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, but I like how, but he, but his his loyalties are clear. He's in the serious conversation with the woman about the thing, but he sees Carrie on the street and, whoop, and, and drops yeah, the phone. Doesn't totally. matter. We're not. I don't have time to say goodbye. Right. I got I got to take care of it. Uh, I really loved the Hezbollah stuff mm-hmm. because the notion of the 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 the, the people's. There's always this very complicated thing I think in in sort of politics in general where everybody has a past and everybody has done something terrible to somebody else, whether it's, you know, in an election or, or, or literally killing someone. But then later on, those people, because they're both in the same line of work, 
are going to need favors from each other, you know. Mm -hmm. So she has to go in front of this guy who hates her because he, you know, he's was he related to Abu Nazir or he was part of. Uh, well, his kid was killed. His kid he, was killed. He, he was doing security for Abu Nazir. Yeah. Or yeah. So, like, you know, obviously despises Carrie and everything that she stands for, but at the same time, like, can't kill her under these circumstances. And, and uh, you know, there is a larger thing where, okay, I guess I do have to take her, her request to the council, and I guess they are going to say yes for da da da, da you know. So I, I like when this show addresses the complicated nature of this world. Yeah, that's right. And, and these sort of like, you know, now we're allies because we have this common enemy, but uh, this other time we hate each other and you killed my friend, but you killed my friend. You know, like there's there's a lot of that shit going on. Yeah, there, the, the, and, and there was subtlety in her going to the Iman also. Imam. Imam, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Not no, he David went to, no, he went to see David Bowie's uh, first <laughs> wife. Yeah. Uh, so he goes to see the Imam, thank you. And uh, I probably made that mistake 10,000 times. <laughs> I, I, has it, I don't want no one go look for it because I'm pretty sure you'll find it. The mega mix, uh, right? I mean, I work for them, right, whatever. <laughs> um, so he uh, uh, he goes to see the uh, imam, <laughs> and uh, but that scene was incredibly subtle because yeah. that guy was he was disgusted at, at her request. Like, right? I'm, but, not, I'm not a terrorist, and you just think I know all the terrorists? Yeah, like all the Arabs are. And then yeah. and then he's like, yeah, okay, well I do. In this case, but uh, that doesn't mean this, right, this right, is right, totally right, uh, right. insulting. Yeah. And so he walks out like, Ugh, <laughs> "Show yourself as the scale." Um, and then she goes to see the guy, and like you know, Hezbollah, uh, you know, they have a structure. They're not, uh, and they're not end timers either, which was another interesting sure. component of Quinn's speech, where you think this was a pretty strongly anti-Muslim speech at first, like it felt initially like it was written by Sam Harris, and then it. <laughs> Then it switched a little bit because he was like, "Hey, man, they've believed this since the seventh century. Like, you're not. This isn't new, right? This is this is not this is not right. This Reactive. Isn't new. <laughs> this, is, this isn't new. Um, but that was incredibly interesting. I thought that confrontation of, sure. of you know, he, uh, uh, and she knew they wouldn't kill her, and so she yells it like, "I know you're pissed, but you have to do it. You know, <laughs> we have rules. Like, we hate each other. Yes, but, but we this have world rules. has rules. Exactly. This world has yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's funny the the I have a group of friends that I have watched this show with in the past. They've, they've kind of been less into it after the last couple seasons, but there was that whole one episode that was all about don't get out of the van, Carrie, don't get out of the van, Carrie. Like when, when they when I think like Brody's in a motel or something and someone's going to shoot him and she's supposed to stay in the van and oh, right, she gets yeah. out of the van and they get, they, the van is mentioned a million <laughs> times. So of course in this episode when she is seized and put in a van and oh. then thrown out of the van right, right. By, by the people I was watching with were sort of like, oh, the van. Here we go, again, <laughs> again with the van. Uh, I hear you. I, I, it's pretty good. It, it is, you know, um, it is a challenge, of course, to write the same characters into the same similarly tense situations every time. Right. Which is why, to me, the the politics of it are more interesting than the, oh, will she get out of this situation? Right. Uh, well, but now also I think there's sort of the added thing of like, for example, when she gets a bag on her head and thrown into a van, my first thought was, who's taking care of her kid? <laughs> right, right, right. But we know. Presumably the, lawyer boyfriend is, right? he's right? there. He lives there. Yeah, but yeah. I'm just saying, like, that's yeah. the, 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 he's gonna, that's going to need to be an ongoing thing, obviously, if she's going to find herself in these sort of dangerous scrapes now because they have introduced the child as being so much a part of her life and in her home and all that stuff. And then, of course, also there's the how do we loop in the, you know, when does Carrie go off her meds this season? Because that's always a, a, a recurring thing and will on that show. be around the same time she finally sees Quint? And therefore, right. and when she jeopardizes, because what I did remind myself by reading about that last episode is that Carrie and Quinn sort of missed each other. They were both at various points yeah. prepared to say, let's leave together. Let's sure. have, let's try. It probably wouldn't have worked. No. But let's have a, let's, let's have try a make thing. A and then yeah. Quinn didn't hear from her, so he signed up for another tour or whatever. And right. he's, he's off in Syria. Anyway, it was good. It was uh, interesting. It's uh, Nobody walks straighter than... Mandy Patinkin, <laughs> <laughs> like that guy has no. He is, and I assume we're done with his wife. Probably she must have. I'm her. thinking, yeah, yeah. I mean, she I mean, probably not with the French guy since he was mm -hmm. undercover, whatever. But yeah, I, I, I suspect she may be history. And Dar is back. So Dar is back. Yeah, excited about that. And the guy and Magruder and Loud guy. Uh, <laughs> he was the guy asking the tough questions. Okay, I knew he looked familiar. Yeah, I couldn't place yeah, him, but all right, all right. I'm the only. I, I don't think anybody else. <laughs> would say, oh, look, the Magruder and Loud guy, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Anyway, he's good, and it's good to see him there. All right, uh, 
And also, uh, if you're a Damien Lewis fan, if you want uh, Brody back, uh, billions, come, billions with uh, Paul Giamatti and uh, Malin Ackerman, who I uh, who I interviewed for what the flick. It's on. Uh, and Sarah Clark from Twenty Four. Oh wow! Okay. And uh, one of uh, uh, what's his name? One of Damien Lewis's guys, uh, Pastor Tim. Oh well, then yeah, okay. Yeah, it all on. comes. It all comes full circle. Everybody's going to be watching Billions <laughs> in uh, in January. All right, guys. Thanks so much for uh, watching. We'll be back next week.